ありがとうございます。I've failed, I've fell, I've felt the kind of pain that left me feeling quite frail. And this is like jail because I'm stuck behind these four smiles, pretending that I'm just a little tired when I'm really just hurt. But I want everyone to think that my life is going quite well. So, like sales, I gotta make them believe in it. See, I've been dreaming since I've been a child, and that's been a while. So, it seems as if These dreams I've dreamt aren't worth fighting for anymore. See, there's this, this doubt that accounts for me counting myself out, squeezing every ounce of confidence in myself out. Like, like there goes that feeling again. The feeling that I'm always feeling within, telling me to stay in the background and to stay silent. The feeling that's overtaking my heart, telling me to have control, keep playing my part, know my role, like I'm in a play for the arts, but there's no improvising. It has me second guessing, overly assessing, missing my blessings. It hinders me from progressing and prevents me from thriving. It's driven by fear and feeds off of a negative basis. It tells me to stay in the rear because that's where it's safest and that there's no point in trying. But you recognize this feeling because you felt it too. But who told you that you can't be great and that you are nothing more than average? Who told you that it was impossible for you to achieve the impossible and that you don't matter? Who told you that you have to compare yourself to others like that's the only way that we'll know if we're prepared for the level above us? Who told you that you weren't good enough and that you were just subpar or that you should give up even before you get a good start? Who lied to you? Where did they hide the truth? Who decided to minimize who you could potentially be? And why did you choose to believe? See, truthfully, a lot of us have deceived ourselves to the point that we no longer believe in ourselves. See, self doubt is preventing you from getting to your full potential, too. It exists just to censor you. It's on a mission to suppress the greatness within you. But it only does so because you've given it permission to. See, we have a bad habit of getting in our own way, even for the things that make us passionate. I'm sick and tired of people thinking that they're just okay, nothing more than average or adequate. You're more than that. See, there's a, there's a greatness inside of you, but you have to realize the truth. Stop letting self doubt be the force that's guiding you. Let confidence arise in you to conquer the lie that you aren't competent. Let your consciousness override the rules that tell you. You're just mediocre. Because that kind of thinking is unacceptable. See, we were all born with a gift, a purpose, a desire, a burning. But some of us are too busy salivating for validation, and that's the real definition of being thirsty. When things don't work out, we tend to feel worthless and we discontinue working, not realizing that it's all part of the journey, it's all part of the plan. So, no more doubting yourself. Become an unstoppable force. Find the fire inside of you and ignite it too as you travel your course. And when people disapprove, do not be moved. Those haters you ignore, no longer let self doubt keep your mindset in a box where you're always unsure. Go and be great. It's queso. Just know the night is almost gone. Here comes the break of dawn. Uh, all day and every night until the break of dawn. Keep pushing, don't stop until the break of yeah. dawn. All day and every night until the break of dawn. Keep pushing, don't stop. All right, thank you. That made me feel better.